Welcome everybody, welcome back to Minecraft. Yeah, long time no see. Um, I'm here breeding doggies. Quick little break from building. Well, actually I haven't built since the last time, since the last episode. Um, yeah, I was a little bit sick in, in the in-between, in the time between this one and the last one. I'm very sorry for the delay. Basically, really couldn't talk without without coughing so yeah it's it's been two weeks i know but i'm i'm i'm, I'm here again i'm 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 healthy and ready to build and just to warm up today i've been wait come on all of you guys sit down i've been farming the cows and the chickens this is basically what i got from from one run i've been breeding the cows again over there the babies and now we should hey you what are you doing? Did I did I miss you? Sorry. Uh, just fill this pen up with chickens. Now the plan for today is honestly because I really have to keep an eye on my health and I don't want to overdo it with the with the talking and with the with the uh, yeah, doing stuff. Um, I'm not sure if we are going to finish the cave today, but I think that shouldn't be a problem. If it's, if it's a little bit that we can get done, it's okay if we can get a few more trading villages set up. The main thing that I want to get done is the enchanting um, villager set up. That is the most important thing, because we need stuff like um, silk touch and mending. Above everything else, we need mending for our tools and our armor and, well, basically everything. Ooh, and I guess we also need this stuff, because all the enchanting guys, we have to level up first. And we best do that with paper. Here we go. Hmm. I'm going to actually turn down the volume of air-friendly creatures there. Because those guys really get annoying. Really, they really do. Now... This um, building I actually did plan out a little bit, so I have my basic color palette ready. Main theme will be acacia, normal stone and andesite, and wool. Now, the acacia wood will be the framing. Let's see how that goes. Now, almost done. Wait, I want to get over here and place this last part. The rest of the um, frame in, in this uppercase here will um, yeah, be covered by the roof. And I totally intend to let the roof um, yeah, sort of be integrated into the, um, into the cave ceiling. Now, we are not going for gray, we are going for bright red. That is the plan. I want to make the buildings in this underground village a little bit um, different each time, so it doesn't get too boring and, and we yeah, have a little bit of variation in here. Now, the interior is coming later on. For now, we just need the entrance. And I want to use wool for most of it, and just a little bit of nuance with the uh, polished diorite. That is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. The next thing we are going to need is oak door and at least two trap doors. Boop. This is for here. And this is the usual trapdoor windowing that I really, really like. Looks a little bit dark over there. Hmm. Should be fine though. Um, the interior, honestly, I'm not really going to use. I have the, those four um, slots for the villagers. And the interior is basically just for, for the case that we need a ninth or a tenth. Because maybe I forget some, some enchantment that I really, really need. And those additional villages, if needed, we can place inside of here. Now, what else do we need? We need a few acacia trapdoors. And a few fences. The idea is to... Whoop, 
maybe like this. Add a little bit of detail. And some lighting. Boop, boop. Wonderful. All in the same color, color palette, of course. That should do it, yes. Now, I would like to get to the roof. We will create an outline for the roof with Deep Slate. And like this. Let's take a look from a little bit further away. Yeah, that is what I wanted for this place. Exactly that. Now, for the sides. We are going to connect the bottom of the roof here. Just where this part of the roof ends up. Now... And the same on the other side, whoop, where there is too much wood. That is fine though. And over here we can actually pull the roof up completely, well not completely completely, maybe like, like this, whoop, with a half slab on top to prevent mobs from spawning and that should be the final height of this part of the roof yeah I like it okay enough with the deep slate now now we are going to whoop, use the ender side and the stone and now this is fairly easy we just fill in Everything that is missing roof-wise in the exactly same way that we did it with it with a deep slate. Here we place the full blocks and pull the roof back to the wall. Maybe we have to do that from the inside. Yeah, we definitely have to do that from the inside. And I believe up there I will place some some foliage and some lighting. Because I'm Again, very worried about spawns. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. And you know what? I really like the fact that the uh, surrounding cave <laughs> and the roof are in some spaces um, indistinguishable. I think that is really neat. That fits the... Oh! I missed this back. No! Uh, that fits the, fits the cave, cave theme kind of perfectly. You... wait, how did I... Boop. Boop. Is that good? I think that is good. Now, I think I'm going to uh, raise the floor up one, one block. Ooh, and I have to be very careful with the light again. The plan is to get the workstation, which is in that case in the lectern, here, just here where I stand, the villager placed right behind it, and trapped in dark, dark oak. And I actually want to um, hang a lantern right above their head, here. That should protect them from Morating zombies and everything else that can cause trouble. Hmm. How am I actually going to get them in? <laughs> I think from this side. Yeah, I think so. I think this should keep them from getting out. We'll see. Yep, and I'm going to strip the wood again. Again, I think this is just a way smoother look. Fits the, fits the acacia wood much better also. Now, much better. And we still have a way to get back in here, should we ever need to. You never know. And everything else is almost filled in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now this is completely safe, I think. Now for the most important part. 
a tiny bit afraid. Ooh. Ooh. How do I get them in there? I think I know how. I think I know how. I'm going to be a little bit smarter than the last time. Just a little bit, not too much. Don't you don't you worry. Um I want to block off this path so they cannot um escape into well, my place. <laughs> I need a bunch of beds. That is one part of the plan. Hi guys. Hi. How you doing? Um hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna need eight of your beds. I'm I'm sorry. Kind of. Um It's fine, you're you're um you're gonna be fine. It's it's all good. Not doing anything. Whoop! Who just took damage? One of you just took damage. It was not part of the plan, I swear. Now my idea would be to place beds right about here, wait for them to go to sleep, and then trap them. That should be should be a good idea. And I'm going to block this off. And actually, no, you know what? You know what? I can block those in with the lecterns already. That should be a good idea. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Oh no. Mm, this should work as well. Place all the lecterns in here so they cannot um, get out this way. And once they wake up, they should be going to the lectern as soon as they get out of the bed. It should be working, then I just have to trap them in here. Still way easier than with boots. Hi guys, you know what? It's still night. Get out of here. There's beds there waiting for you. Shoo, 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 shoo. Come on, come on. Push! Oof! Go! Go! Guys, go! Go! <laughs> Move it! They might be on track there. Yes, they are. Wonderful. That is really good. Come on, you see the beds. You, you can smell the beds. I know you can. Yeah. Hey! Hey, he moved on his own! <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you're free. Oh god, I'm so glad I locked this thing. Um, sir? Well, um, hey, we have a library. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to wait for them to go sleep again. Come on, guys, nappy time. It's bedtime. It is! It really is, I think. <gasps> it's happening! It's happening! Look! Look! Oh god! Oh, oh, oh. So excited! Like this, like this block over there. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, sorry! I'm out of the way. You just go to bed. What are you doing? There's your beds. Come on! Guys! Don't get stuck here. Come on. Shoo shoo. Yes, that is the right direction. You come on. Hop. You just gotta hop, you know? Wait. I'm helping. Da da. No, that is not where your bed is. Go there. Yes, there. <laughs> oh, God. How did you survive until now? Oh. <laughs> Um, okay, we have one, we have two, we have maybe three? Okay. Mm. Ah. This is very good. This is very, 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 very good. Um, huh. This guy doesn't seem to be able to pathfind in here. Hmm. Okay, then we have a problem. One boy is missing. Wait, or or are you trying to? No. 
Okay, I have to I have to uh, move one by hand or by boat. Let's lock them in. And who's it gonna be? You! Come on! We are going to come on! The heck? <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring you so close to your bed that you can't miss it. Or maybe I shouldn't say that. That might not be too smart. Oh. Maybe I'm not that smart. Okay, let's block this. Boop, boop. Boom. Come on, you can do it. Look, I'm opening the way for you, so you can flop here in your bed. You can do it, I believe in you. Come on. You don't want the beds in there, you want... Eh. Eh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Maybe now? Come on. I hate you. Why? Why? Come on. Come on. Eh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Very, very careful now. Uh -huh. Ooh. <laughs> eh, eh. Um, eh? Now go to bed. Please, go to bed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Not sure if those are tears of joy or just blank hate for villagers. <laughs> that was way harder than it looked. <laughs> way. Boop. And lock this behind me. Oh. Um. I'm hoping to. Trap them in a way I can destroy the bed without them leaving their spot, so to speak. I'm going to try that with you. <gasps> no! Why? Why? No! That's not the plan, boy. Why you do this? You go and boat? Maybe you like boat? Boat doesn't hurt. Okay. Hmm. And now he should be between those trapdoors. <gasps> oh, he can't get out. Oh, this is so good. Okay, go now. No. There is no escape. Go there. Move it. Move it. Yes. And a little bit more. No, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, finally. Number one. How is it that the most uh, important resource in this game is so annoying to get? So annoying. Now, you guys, please take on your your profession. I might have to replace the um, dingy stuff's lecterns. Oh, dang, I hope it doesn't matter if I place them not facing the guys, you know? Oh, that could be a thing. Actually, before we get to that grind, I want to put down a few decorational bits. Hmm. You know what? I think I actually might take out the light sources. I've um, been planting a bit of greenery and I place torches with moss carpet on top on both sides and actually I think it's too much. And I can spawn proof um, differently and I think, th no, the light source up there, they just distract from, from, well, where the focus should be, where the eye should go. Um, let's put them out. That is way better. The building is lit, 
the cave up there is not. And that is fine. Gotta unload a lot of stuff and then we are going to uh, try our best to get the right villagers. You know what? I made a big mistake. This guy here, he already has a profession. He's my farmer and because we already took some trades with him, uh, made some trades with him, he's locked in in his profession. <laughs> he won't be able to change it. So, let's uh, get you out. Could you make your way over there to another lectern? Like this? Well, it's a good spot you're standing in. <laughs> But not the one I want for you. Hmm. Do you want to get over there? Wait, I take this away. You might want to take another job, right? Oh, wait. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Tricky, tricky as always. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quick little update, guys. It is three hours later. Not even kidding. <laughs> and except for one guy, I locked them, and it was quite difficult to get them to um register the lectern. And uh, I found out that it was because of the um, trapdoor door above the lectern. As soon as that was gone, they were just accepting the, the lectern and I could start um, swapping it out and, and trying to get the best trades. And I have almost everything we got. We got Silk Touch, Unbreaking, well, Knockback that we might even use, Protection 4, there's a good one, Efficiency 4, there was the option to have Efficiency 5, but I already had Efficiency 4 and thought, okay, you know what, I'm gonna buy two books and combine them. This one here, Blast Protection, this st one still has to be has to be changed into um, Fire Protection, that's what I'm missing so far. Here we have our Mending Guy, and Fortune and Mending as well, hmm. was his second trade. Now, I am thinking, because this happened, this double mending scenario, I want to unlock their second traits and see if that is what I need. If this one, for example, gets to the next level, unlocks, unlocks his second trait, and that one maybe is fire protection, then I don't have to swap this one out and can um, let him be something else useful. Now, for that, I need a lot of emeralds and I've been... <laughs> yeah, all my paper is gone, all my sugarcane is gone. Those guys take a lot of that. The next best option for that is our farmy boy. I'm gonna put him next to the composter so he can refresh his traits. And just go for... you, Pumpkins. And see if I can get one that likes carrots. Maybe that is possible. Hmm... How far do we get with two? Oh, that is next to nothing. <laughs> we need emeralds. Oh. Soon there could be one of you guys. Let's see. Wait. Did this just vanish? Wait. Did you just take my composter? What are you doing? Okay. Composter is gone. <laughs> No, it's in my inventory. That's black magic here. Okay, you are a farmy boy and you like carrots. That is very good. I'm gonna lock you in and we are just going to trade. To trade. Come on, upgrade. Yes, and you also like puppies. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, we have a bunch of emeralds in here. That is great. That is really great. Mm, no pumpkins anymore. You keep your thingy there. Um, ladies, <laughs> could you, would you, 
Wouldn't you be so kind? Don't follow me. Okay. <laughs> now, I hope this is enough to get our Mandy boy here. Mm. What else can we do? We can actually, with our fortune pickaxe, hoping to get many books, three books, okay. We can, how much does this get us? Not that much XP, hmm. Okay, then I'm going for... <gasps> oh, that was a lot! We need one or two... book trades more. Hmm. 24 books from that trade. Oh. And this guy... takes the books. That is good. Oh! Do you, do you level up too? Ooh, <laughs> fortune one. Okay, that is cute. <laughs> now, you should level up now. Let me see, what is your second trade? Nothing. <laughs> okay, then I will go for <sighs> fire protection. Let's go. Well, it is the next day, actually. Um, Some things have happened. Things that I didn't record because I'm a bit of a dum dum, um, but that took me many, many, many hours. <laughs> First of all, we have a fire protection four guy, which is great, which is just awesome. The other thing that has happened is um, you might notice that this guy that happened to be the second mending guy looks a little bit different here. Well, let's just say, um. Let's just say the former guy that was in here, the former librarian, went on vacation to a land where his mending books were, were appreciated and he didn't have to compete with this guy. And then this guy moved in and he's a Feather Falling 3 guy. <laughs> I, yeah, well, I switched them because having two mending guys was just the waste of one spot. And I realized that I didn't have a Feather Falling guy. And honest to God, getting this guy to even have feather falling in the first place took me about two hours. I kid you not, two hours. Two. Felt a little bit like my like my brain was cooked and after a while um, feather falling three popped up and I said okay that's it I'm going to buy two and combine them and that is that. <laughs> now we have most of the essential books the rest i believe we can still get via via enchanting table and so on and so forth but those are the enchantings the enchantments that i think we will need multiple times therefore we have the villagers for that so that's gonna be it for this episode guys i really hope you enjoyed it even though it was <laughs> a little bit grindy and i was a little bit annoyed but that's that's what you become when you have to deal with eight villagers eight and yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, leave me a like and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.